Hi, I'm your host Ego Geeko, and welcome to the season finale of Green Tech Weekly Season 1. And a very special show this is, isn't it Scott and Jared? Yep! Yes sir! For this show, we are going to show you some of the last minute green gadgets and toys that you can get for your someone or yourself. Or you can send them all to us! Mm -hmm. This week we have three lists. I have a list. And I have a list. And I have a list too! This week on a very special holiday edition of Green, Green Tech, Tech Weekly! So here we are at episode 16 and the end of season 1. This week we are going to show you some great green gifts that should brighten up your favorite greenies holiday. First up, let's go to Jared, our kids correspondent. Thank you, Eco. I have made a top 10 list of green toys that kids like me would like this Christmas. For number 10, we have something for school and home. These are smentums. They are smelling pencils that are made from recycled newspaper. You can get a bucket of 50 for $65. Number 9 is 20 recycled crayons for $10 from Crazy Crayons. Number 8 is one my dad said I should put in for girls and babies. It's an organic stuffed animal from me um, for under $22. Number seven is under five dollars, so it's a great stocking stuffer. This is a tiny solar powered grasshopper from Owie Robots. Number six is a Thames and Cosmos Earth Lab. This kit has all sorts of projects like making recycled paper, build a wind turbine, and more. It's yours for around thirty-three dollars. For number five, I picked a wind turbine project kit, you can see how it makes energy for $6. Number four is the biggest one on my list. Number four is the biggest one on my list. This 50 foot solar heat balloon will rise up in the air when the sun makes it hot and it is about $20. Number three is a can robot from Elenco you build a robot but need to recycle a soda can for the body. I really want one of these and it can be yours for $13. So Dad, remember to put that on my list. Number two is another robot that I want from Inlaco. This solar power transformer changes into three different things at once on the sun, just like my dad's car. My dad can get me one of these for only $13. And number one on my list is also from Inlaco. You get to build this little car that runs on salt water for up to six hours. The car costs only $13, so be sure to add it to my list. I mean, get it for your kids if they're like me. So, Dad, did you get all of those? Yes. Okay, just making sure. And now back to my dad, Eco Kiko. Thank you, Jared. In my list, I have 10 items for around the house or at the office. Number 10 is a great desktop toy that glows in the dark. This light bulb in a glass block will light up when you're working late so you have a little light to work by. It can be yours for around $30. Number nine is another desk toy that shows off how hot you are and I don't mean your looks. This is a Sterling engine you build that fits in your hand. This can be yours for about 50 bucks. Number eight is a watch for the ladies that is made from recycled plastic from Roxy Jam for under $70. Number seven is a men's watch by Casio that is solar powered with enough bells and whistles to use all day long and it can be yours for 35 bucks. Number six is another one for the desktop. This is a solar powered replica windmill with a clock in the base for about $19. With all the tech in your life, you'll need a green way to charge them. See what I did there? No. Well, I mean, yeah, but it was kind of lame, so... Okay. 
So number five is this fold-up solar panel. It will charge just about any portable tech you take with you from iPads to Android cell phones. The price is $140, but is there really a price you can put on keeping your precious gadgets charged? Yeah, $140. For number four, I turn to one of my favorite companies, TerraCycle. If you don't know about them, they take packaging before and after it's been used and make all sorts of things from wallets to laptop bags. And they're even working on fences. But they're on this list because of laptop bags. I use this recycled jeans bag every day. These start for about $15 and go up. Number three is a carbon fiber case for your iPad with some great extras from Como. This case has a built-in Bluetooth keyboard that runs off the solar panel above the keys. Oh, and it can be yours for about 40 bucks. Number two on my list is a solar keyboard for a PC and Mac from Logitech. I actually use one of these on my PC every day. This $60 Bluetooth keyboard will run for about three months even in the dark, and yes, it'll charge with the lights in your office. And number one is a solar powered backpack for 135 bucks. Now you can charge your gadgets while you carry them. Eco, wait, these bags have been around for a while now. Well, this is still a cool backpack. I looked at several on the web and this one came in as my top pick. With all the storage area for your gadgets, you want to charge. Well, there's my top 10 for the holidays. Scott, what do you have? Hi, I'm Scott, the Mostly Faceless Director of Green Tech Weekly, and this is my top 10 list of things to make and products to give for a greener Christmas. At number 10, I've picked the Tweetawatt. This do-it-yourself kit from Adafruit uses a kilowatt to monitor a power outlet and tweet what it's using. Uh, this can be yours for $55, but it does require a kilowatt. Number 9 is now available after a successful Kickstarter where I was a backer. These are B squares. These three squares, the solar cell, the battery pack, and the LED square make up the beginner kit. It retails for $75 bucks, and with it you can use the mini USB port and charge your favorite iDevice. For an additional $37.50 you can also get a dock square that allows you to charge your iPhone or Android device while it sits pretty on your desk. Number eight is a subscription to Make Magazine. I love this thing. I'm really into the maker movement which is centered around Make Magazine and between the physical magazine and its web blog you will find plenty of projects to build. This quarterly is about 30 bucks a year and that gives you access to the digital version as well. Number seven is Rain Barrels. Uh, use these at your home to capture rainwater to for your garden. Uh, you can buy these starting around 100 bucks at your local big box hardware or membership store. If you want to, however, rethink it green, I bet there is somebody in your community right now teaching a class on how to build these. Uh, you can use Craigslist without who. For number six, I chose the compost bin. Just like with the rain barrels, uh, you can build these using a variety of do-it-yourself techniques found on Instructables.com. Again, they are also available at your favorite big box for about 40 bucks. At the five spot, I picked solar tubes. Uh, these save electricity uh, and provide daytime natural lighting at the same time in the interior sections of your home by being a tube through the roof. Uh, insulation for these would probably be considered intermediate to hard as a DIY project, but doable in a weekend. Um, kit prices start around 350 bucks, and you can find your local uh, a local dealer from their website at solartube.com. My number four item is hardly a new concept, and you can get these things everywhere. Uh, but this is a motion controlled solar LED porch and patio light. Uh, these provide security around your house, but they're low energy and they're not on all the time. Uh, third is similar to the Australian Eco Whisper Turbine that we, uh, uh, that we featured in episode 14. Honeywell has this blade tip turbine. Uh, this one is six feet in diameter. It mounts on the roof of your house. Uh, this can accept wind from 180 degrees and move in as little as a half a mile per hour of wind. Um, 
This makes it very useful in high turbulent areas like urban and suburban areas. Based on a 12 cent per kilowatt hour rate and current government incentives, this $4,500 kit will pay for itself in about 14 years. Number two is the pedal watt, pedal a watt bicycle power generator. Um, an average rider will produce about 300 uh, watts of power with this thing. Uh, you can use it to power the TV while you're uh, doing your exercise and watching the morning news or as a backup power source in an emergency situation. It is shipped for less than a thousand bucks. And my number one pick is an electric motorcycle. If you watch the show, you know just how much we love these things. Uh, my favorite in the class currently is the Zero brand. Uh, their street line starts uh, with this, the Zero XU. Um, it's less than $8,000 for lithium ion batteries, a 45 mile range, and a top speed of 65 miles per hour. Uh, this one is at the top of my list for a reason, because I want one. And now, back to you, Eco. If you get any of these for someone, or yourself, let us know if these are as good as we thought. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and hit the like button under this video on YouTube. We also wanted to let everyone know that we will be taking a few weeks off for the holiday and to make some changes around here at 10 Spot Studios. But we hope that you join us this January 13th. That's a Friday. Friday the 13th. Spooky. For our second season. From all of us here at Green Tech Weekly to your families, we hope that you have a great holiday this year and remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Rethink it green. I'm gonna get you can. Say, I'm gonna get you can. I'm gonna get you can. I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. So, I'll get this light over here. Oh, you guys are still here? So we need show sponsors. Hit us up in the notes or the link on our website if you want to be our sponsor. Thanks, see you around.